Hi, welcome to another video. So, Llama 4 was launched, and needless to say, this model is pretty underwhelming. Their new models are quite large. The Scout model has about 100 billion parameters, and the Maverick model has about 400 billion parameters. There are also a lot of intricate things that they have actually tried to hide, or have made very ambiguous, and I thought I would tell you guys about them. Now, first of all, when they launched these models, especially the Scout, they claimed that it is an AI model that can run on a single GPU. And well, that's technically true, but it's misleading. Because I can also run a DeepSeek R one-on-one -on -one DGX GPU, but that GPU costs a ton of money. And based on this claim, they start comparing it to a model like Gemma 3, which is like comparing a watermelon to an apple. The Scout model is insanely large, probably three or four times higher in size, and then they go ahead and compare it to Gemma 3, which is really not a fair comparison. Not just that, the Maverick model, while being a 400 billion parameter model, which is quite close to V3, is insanely more capable than this and they again compare it to models like Flash, while not comparing to models like Quen Max or DeepSeek, which is just, in my opinion, a questionable practice. But I think that they immediately knew that these models have turned out to be disappointing. And what they did was that they added long context lengths to it, like a 10 million context length for Scout and 1 million for Maverick, which made many people jump and assume that it's great that these models at least have such big context lengths. But guess what? In long context length sequences, it fails blatantly. It can't even compare to something like Flash, which has about a million context length, which is just so disappointing to see. The Ader leaderboard also got updated with the new model, and it again failed blatantly. It can't even beat Quencoder 32B while being significantly larger than that. Its strong suite is definitely not coding, which is what most people use AI models for these days. Now, many people have started to defend these models, saying that these models are not reasoning variants, but that doesn't make sense. Phi 4 by Microsoft, which is a 14B model, does better coding than this, and Mistral Small and Gemma 3 are also better than a 400B model, which just doesn't make sense to me. It only makes sense that the meta team has fallen behind what the current generation models are. The same issue that occurred with GPT 4.5 is also happening here, and the issue is that scaling pre-training will not always get you the best results you will need to come up with architectural changes that make the models better, not just follow one framework. DeepSeek almost fully changed the attention mechanism in their models, which is what is great about their models. Meta, with such a big team, not being able to keep up shows how it is still a hard thing to do. Meta's AI lead also seems to be leaving the company, and there's also a Reddit post that's being talked about, and that post claims that, despite repeated training efforts, the internal model's performance still falls short of open-source ESOTA benchmarks, lagging significantly behind. Company leadership suggested blending test sets from various benchmarks during the post-training process, aiming to meet the targets across various metrics and produce a presentable result. Failure to achieve this goal by the end of April deadline would lead to dire consequences. Following yesterday's release of Llama 4, many users on X and Reddit have already reported extremely poor real-world test results. That's why you see it perform well on LM Arena, where it is apparently number two, and that is likely not representative of real-world results. Also, Llama 4 is apparently trained on an almost 50 times bigger cluster 
that was used for DeepSeq V3. And now, you know that it doesn't always mean the best results. Some things that I also noticed with the Llama 4 models is that the models also yap a lot. I mean, just for a high message, it can give you a super long response. And this is generally seen in models that are fine-tuned for long context length after training. And this seems to indicate that they basically just wanted to add a key point to it to at least save some reputation for the model. I think that it's fine to not get a soda model, but it being behind a generation creates some serious problems. I had been seeing a lot of stuff that Llama 4 is not getting good results and whatnot, but I actually didn't believe it, because the last Llama 3.3 was a model that I actually liked, while the Llama 3.2 models were also really not great. I am hoping that we get a Llama 4.1 model that is post-trained to make it significantly better. I am still excited for an Omni model and a reasoning model to see it improve, and Omni modality will be better for Llama 4, as there's not much competition in that space, and it will be one of the only models in open source that has Omni modality. So, that should be cool. They also shared the details about the Behemoth model, which I don't even know if it will come out or not, or if it even exists, and if it is as good as they claim it to be. It's about 2 trillion parameters, which is kind of cool for sure. But we'll see about that when it comes out. We'll probably see the next models on Llama Khan, which is supposed to be on April 29th. So we'll see about that soon. When I use these models, it takes me back to the GPT, 3.5 days, because it tries to write a story in almost all responses and is really bad at coding. So we'll see when it gets some new models in the lineup and there's always scope for improvements. I mean, we were really sad with 2.0 Pro by Gemini, but when 2.5 Pro came along, most people didn't talk about 2.0 Pro anymore, which basically sums up that if we get a good model by them, then we'll probably forget this. So, let's see if they are able to catch up with the new soda models, or will Llama fall behind and not recover? Let me know what you guys think about it. I didn't like the models, and I thought I would talk a bit about these models and what went wrong with them. Comment below if you find it useful for something or something that I missed about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.